let's do a card reading for Aries for September 2023 today. Whoa, already the cards are jumping out. Okay, so let's do this. Aries, what can you expect as we begin the month? Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Aries is not afraid of a lot, but right now things are really unpredictable, and that's because of the people around you. They're acting very different, and they're just unpredictable right now. So with that, you may be wondering or even second-guessing what you're doing, and because of that, there may be a little bit more apprehension than you normally have, and uh, yeah, I think that's the energy you're bringing forward from August into September is a little bit of maybe fear or apprehension around some of the decisions that you've made because people are just acting so gosh darn weird. So, all right, let's see your biggest obstacle for the month. We're just going to go with the cards that fell. Have faith in your dreams. Okay, this goes right along with that. So here it is, you have a plan, you have a goal, and suddenly you're second guessing yourself because people are acting weird, they're not being consistent, they're not following through with what they said they would do. So you're questioning yourself, you're questioning things, and you're questioning your dream. One, we're right in the middle of Mercury retrograde, and that makes people act squirrely. And two, it's time to have faith in yourself and in your dream. If this is what you really want to happen, Aries, you know you can make it happen. That's going to be the biggest obstacle is having faith in your dream and in yourself right now because of this strange energy. Okay, your biggest asset, surrender to the divine. And this is not something that's easy for Aries to do. You're used to making things happen. You're used to pushing forward. You're used to being the catalyst not sitting back and just, you know, going with the flow. It's just not your, not your way of doing things. And as a fire sign, we ignite things. We make things happen. We don't, uh, like I said, go with the flow. This could be something that if you can master it right now and surrender, this could be a huge asset for you And as you just allow this stuff to play through instead of pushing it forward. Probably not going to master this this month, but if you can at least check in and allow some stuff to unfold without micromanaging it, you're going to see maybe the true colors of the people involved, as well as the direction that this particular project or relationship is going. Okay, and the last card that fell a minute ago was, you're very close to achieving your goal. And I think this is very true. You're very close to getting what you want, but you're second guessing yourself, people are weird, and things are going on. So it's there's some confusion right now around the situation. And because of that, yes, should you do it? Should you not do it? Is this what you really want? That kind of energy is, is going on as we begin the month probably until the 10th even. Okay, so let's see what else is happening. What is going on in your home life? And we'll switch decks here. What's happening in your home life? Inner power, okay. You know that you can get on top of the situation and move things along in the direction you want, but you have to tap into your inner power and you have to take control of the situation. And when you do, yeah, things go fine. Like I say, you're not one really to go with the flow anyway, so you've been probably struggling with how much you should get involved in this situation at home and what you should just allow to happen. So that's what's going on at home. Let's look at your health, your health for September. Be honest with yourself. Okay, that's a good card for this placement too. If you're struggling with a health issue, maybe it's time to go get some uh, help, whether that is a emotional issue or whether that is aches or pains that you're dealing with. To be quite honest, Aries being such a daredevil and such an active person, it's very likely that you have a broken bone in the past that maybe is giving you some problems right now, maybe a touch of arthritis, even though you're way too young for that. Those type of situations are going on or maybe you're having some acid reflux because of the stress, you know, and it's not going to be, oh my gosh, it's cancer. It's something that can be treated and fixed. So why suffer 
when you can just, you know, tweak it. Go to the doctor if you're having some issues, okay? There's no reason to suffer. Just be honest about the situation. And if it's really causing you problems, go see somebody. All right, so let's look at your wealth forecast. Your wealth forecast for September. Fiery climax approaches. See, we're ending a cycle right now. And with that, we're seeing lots of uh, endings and new beginnings. So you may be feeling that. You may be feeling like, ah, when will I know what to do financially? Should I invest? Should I buy crypto? Should I cash out? Yeah. There's a lot of information and there's a lot of uncertainty around finances right now globally. I don't think it's time to make any big decisions. I think it's approaching, but we're not there yet. So let's look at um, finances for retired Aries. You and your loved one are safe. Okay, worry over finances, worry over the future, and this is completely normal. Most people are really kind of apprehensive about the future. And especially if you're retired and living on a pension or social security or something like that where you're on a fixed income. But relax and know that you and your loved ones are going to be safe. You'll make it through this, okay? And self-employed Aries natives, what can you expect financially? conclusions are within reach. You've been thinking about, like I say, investments, maybe cashing something in, maybe redoing an, an investment. It's not time yet. Same for you as, as the general reading. It's just not time yet. So unemployed. Aries natives, what can you expect financially? It's time to take action. Okay, if you're sending out resumes, keep at it. Or if you haven't, maybe it's time to start. Maybe think outside your comfort zone, although this is your card, Aries, which is a very good sign. Yeah, you're probably going to receive a job offer. It's probably not the job you actually want, but it will bring in some income and it could be a stepping stone to getting the position you do want. Keep at it, keep sending the resumes, keep knocking on doors and calling people. I feel like this is something with um, either a relative or a friend has got an in at a place. So you wouldn't actually be working maybe directly with them, but in the same area, maybe not even the same venue. Ask everybody you know if they know of an opening. And like I say, take something, even though it's not the perfect thing, just to get some revenue coming in right now. And I think then shortly it will be something that opens the door to the position you do want. If we look at romance and love for partnered Aries natives. Partnered or committed Aries natives. What do we see? Make music. Okay, this card is about doing things just for the fun of it rather than for making money. And how do we approach this when it's in a romantic setting? Well, maybe just do some stuff for the fun of it. Instead of planning a special date for your anniversary or something like that, surprise your partner with a just because date or just because special dinner or a just because present. And it doesn't have to be anything lavish. It's just the thought really that is going to show your partner how much that you care about them. And that is going to really help even out the relationship, although it's not bad. Most areas right now are in a very comfortable position with their partner, and I think that's gonna continue. But this, this is something that could really make them happy um, and show them how devoted you really are. Aries kind of expects their partner to know, well, I'm with you, of course, so that means I love you. But maybe you need to take some time to tell them, or like I say, to surprise them with some special treat. Single Aries natives can expect Raising your standards. Okay, we see this card quite a bit, don't we? So you know what this means. You've been dating the wrong people just because they're around you and they're persistent. So it's time to rethink your type or the people that you spend your time with. Raise your standards. You deserve to be happy. You deserve somebody that will respect you and honor you for the incredible being that you are. And if you're not getting that, then it's time to look elsewhere in the dating pool. You have a lot to offer. You're a busy person with lots going on and you know a lot of people. Is there someone around you right now 
who wants to spend time with you, but for whatever reason you've been ignoring, maybe you need to take a second look at them. And if they fit with this raising your standards, if they're someone that maybe you normally wouldn't date, but yet you can tell they're a kind person or a caring person, maybe you should give them a shot. So really look around this month and see if there isn't somebody already in your orbit. Let's look at where you're likely to be at the end of September. It seems like this reading went really fast, but we've covered a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. It's that fire energy. <laughs> so at the end of the month, you're likely to be, expect powerful changes. Okay, so here we go. The month has come to a conclusion and I think it's gonna be a fast month too. I think a lot is gonna happen in a short amount of time and you're going to, on the end of the month, look, at, look back over and say, wow, I can't believe so much has changed. How did it happen? How did I end up here? And I think this is a positive thing like I say, it's just a lot. Things are happening fast. Job offers are coming in. You're spending the weekend entertaining your partner or you're going on you know, a coffee date with somebody different. And before you know it, the month's over. So it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. It's just the beginning of this new cycle and with it, powerful changes and powerful positive changes. So I hope this mini reading helped you. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, remember there are thousands and thousands of Aries natives out there. So take what resonates and just let the rest go, okay? If you like this type of content, why not consider joining the community. You get perks, you get to see videos sooner, and you get some behind the scenes stuff. And I really appreciate it too. Stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings!